podcast. I am back. I know that I've been gone for a minute. Those of you who follow me on Instagram know that I've had a series of unfortunate things kind of happen. For starters, I had three pipes freeze and burst in my house on three separate occasions. I also had some health issues that I was dealing with, nothing crazy. And to top it all off, the home that we're supposed to be moving into was actually given to another military family. So it has been a crazy start to 2018, but we are going to take that and turn it into nothing but positivity. So today I am back with another video. I hope you all like it. I'm gonna try and pre-record as much as possible so that I can continue to put out content while I'm moving. I hope that you guys understand what's going on. Love you all. So so excited to be back and let's get started. I started off using this round mirror from Dollar Tree and what I did was flipped it over and took it apart. With this particular mirror you have to be very very careful because the glass itself is very thin so make sure that when you are trying to remove the mirror itself you're doing it slowly and piece by piece because it is glued down. So once you've finally removed it, you can move on to the book rings. I actually ended up using the 1.5 inch. And what I did was use my hot glue gun just to put them in place. We are going to be securing them down, but the hot glue is just so they can stand upright. So I basically just measured them out and kept adding my rings. And the good thing about using the hot glue method is that if you mess up, you can always just remove that last glue tab and start all over. So once everything is fully covered, I'm now going to secure everything in place using my E6000. So I'm going to be adding some to the areas where the two rings meet and to the bottom. And you're going to want to add enough to where the, they attach, but not too much so that it doesn't look like a big glob when you finally paint it. You're going to do this to all the rings. And you're going to make sure that this dries really well overnight. Once it dries, you can go ahead and paint it. I used Rust-Oleum's Metallic Gold. And once that was fully dry, I reattached my mirror the same exact way. This is optional, but you can also add glue around the mirror to make it a little bit more secure, but just make sure that you're doing everything carefully so that you don't crack your mirror. So that's it. You have a lovely vanity tray. If you like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more DIYs, and thank you so much for watching. Till next time.